Hi, this is Max Katz with Opry.io. I want to show you a quick overview of Opry.io cloud development platform by creating simple yet complete mobile app that talks to an API backend. Let's start by creating a new app. And now the app I'm going to build is going to be an insurance mobile app uh, that displays the type of policies that uh, you can buy using your mobile phone. And here we got a brand new app. Now let's open page and so this is how it looks now before we start let's quickly change the theme by going to app settings and there are a lot of themes available and you can also create custom themes if you would like all right so we change the theme to flat UI and now this is how it looks all right let's change the caption to um, insurance all right and for the UI we're going to use a list component which we're going to display the policies and because we're going to be getting data from a database, we actually just need one item. All right, so very fast and simple. Now, um, because you always start with the mobile web app, we can also test the app right here in the browser. So clicking the test button will open the app for us. All right, and um, here we go. So this is the real app running in a web browser. Now, if you would like to try it on your device, that's also very easy to do. You can just scan this QR code uh, and it will launch the app in the browser on your device. Um, just one thing to keep in mind, if you do want to launch it on the phone, you make sure you click public uh, in the test window. All right. Now, let's um, add a cloud database uh, to this app. And you can see there are links to our pre backend services. We're going to click database. And we're going to create a brand new database. We'll call this Insurance DB. So a new database has been created. Uh, now we're going to create a new collection, which will hold the policy. So we'll call this Policy. And we can add column. Uh, we'll call this Name for the policy name. And uh, we can also enter data. Um, so, for instance, let me make this a little bit bigger. This will be car insurance, and this will be life insurance, and then one more will be um, home insurance. All right. So this is our data, um, and what's nice, this data is instantly exposed via uh, REST uh, APIs. And now to display this data in the app, we're going to go back to the app builder and create new database services. This shows you the list of all the uh, databases and this is the one we just created. Now this is the collection and then we just need the list service. Import. Now the service is instantly created. Um, you can open the service, we can even go to test and we can test the live service. And this is the data that we just created. Let's go to the page, let's switch to data and let's add the service to the page. Uh, next, we're going to bind the service to the page. Uh, so this is the service, this is the request, and we're going to switch to response and expand it. And then this side is the page. Uh, so we're taking the name um, property and mapping it to the text uh, in the list. And then this is the collection of all the items, and then we're going to map it to the list itself. And this is going to give us an automatic looping feature. Now we're going to go back to design, selecting the page in breadcrumbs, opening events, and we're just going to quickly change the event to page show, and then we'd like to invoke a service. Uh, when the page is shown, that's the service and add event. Uh, and that's actually it. We can now test. All right, and here we go. Um, these are the policies that we just inserted. So you can see how fast and easy it is uh, to build a real mobile app connected to an API backend. Uh, all it took us is just a few, uh, really just a few minutes here. Uh, what you can do next is you can publish this app as a mobile web app, uh, or you can also package the app for a native platform. And if you open export, you can see that you can build a binary for Android, uh, iOS, and Windows Phone. And uh, these are the uh, buttons right here. 
Now, um, so definitely um, give this a try. Um, sign up, um, and um, if you go to Dev Center, Apri.io, this is a really good place to start. It has getting started tutorials, other tutorials, and documentation. So, for example, getting started. Uh, there are three tutorials that we recommend uh, to start with, all right? And to sign up, there is a sign up button, uh, and uh, you can quickly sign up for our um, starter plan, uh, which is free. Again, upgrade.io, and thank you for watching.